Dello Heavy Duty Engine Oils. Proven engine protection at prices you can rely on. Giving you even more reasons to choose Dello. Hi everybody, welcome back to Equipment World. You're watching The Dirt. I'm your host, Brian, and today we're here to talk about graders. And if you like graders, we've got a massive one for you. We're here to talk about the GD955-7, which is Komatsu's new mining class blade. Without further ado, here's my interview with Komatsu. Can you give us an overview? There's a lot of people out there that are a fan of the blade, but they're not familiar with one quite this big. Can you give us an overview of the GD955? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, it is a mining size grader, really designed for mine sites with haul trucks, 100 tons and up. It's a great support machine for those haul roads, really focused on the mining side, but really to have that large grader to be not only productive uh, with a uh, high blade down force, but also be able to move that machine at speed as well. So from my understanding, you guys went for a period of time without a mining size grader. What made you guys decide to step back into that space? You're exactly right. We've been out of this size, a greater market for some time, but really we do see in North America, the mining sector continuing to grow and to continue to be strong. And we believe we have a machine that our customers are really going to appreciate that's really going to help uh, support those mine sites. So for those who are familiar with the Komatsu graders, can you give us some so just an overview of some of the improvements that this machine has over previous iterations of the machine. Yeah, so the key thing for us is that it's tier four final, uh, it has a tier four final engine. Uh, so for North America, that was key for us when we, uh, you know, re-entering this market. But really it is a ground up redesign from our previous model, which was the GDA 25. But mostly the focus is for production. So. We have a longer wheelbase and a heavier machine to support that blade down force. So we're getting great blade penetration in our hard pack, but also we have an eight speed transmission. So we're very excited to have additional horsepower from the engine and this eight speed transmission to be able to move this machine and really be productive. Uh, again, not just pushing down with the blade, but also uh, running up and down those haul roads. And just out of curiosity, what's the horsepower rating on this beast? That's 423 horsepower is this machine. Wow, that thing's a monster. And how big is the moldboard? We have an 18-foot blade, and we also have a 20-foot blade option as well. Wow, wow. So out of curiosity, I'm assuming for the mines, you don't necessarily need it, but are there any plans on incorporating machine control, be it either 2D or 3D on the machine? But before we get into that, I want to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Chevron Lubricants. These cranes work around the clock for months at a time. If one of these engines ever goes down, it costs more than our reputation. Switching to Dello 600 ADF, it's been a game changer. We've had no issues with clogged DPFs. I mean, no regen lights, no cleaning, no replacements, nothing. This oil goes beyond anything we've ever used. I choose proven protection that keeps our cranes on the job. I choose Dello 600 ADF. Are there any plans on incorporating machine control, be it either 2D or 3D on the machine? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have heard uh, comments from our customers specifically on a 2D cross slope option, you know, especially from the operators, you know, maintaining these haul roads, wanting to add, you know, some type of uh, grade to those for drainage. And that is something that we are looking into. And currently we don't have anything on the horizon for 3D. I think on this size machine specifically, we have it tailored for our operators, but it's really an opportunity as well to let our operators uh, shine and use their talents as well with our greater operation. Yeah, it makes sense that those guys would want the 2D, like you said, cross slope option because it is a lot of haul road main maintaining but it also occurs to me that in a mining application, there's probably not enough changes to things in a way that you're gonna have a bunch of site plans programmed into this thing that 3D would make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, you're exactly right. And a lot of the focus too, still on these sites is using you know large uh, dozers to go in and, and do a lot of the transitions. And then the greater, again, its main job is just maintaining those haul roads, trying to reduce wear on those trucks. Yeah, gotcha. 
So my final question for you is with this massive of an engine, what sort of after treatment system is this thing equipped with? So this is a 15 liter engine. We use this engine on quite a few different pieces of Komatsu machinery. We are using a DPF, diesel particulate filter, and our SCR, selective catalyst reduction solution. So this machine does use DEF. Generally, as a rule or a guideline, we say that we use two tanks of fuel for one tank of DEF. So our DEF consumption is relatively low in this machine, but this machine does use DEF fluid. Yeah, unfortunately, we live in the world now where you're you're going to have to just deal with the after treatment. And it's, you know, it's really, are you getting DPF or you, or SCR? Are you getting both? And, and we've just come to deal with it in the industry. We're all having to accept it. <laughs> yeah, and the good news is, um, you know, with Tier 4 Final, the Tier 4 Final engines have been out for a period of time. And we are seeing very good reliability out of our after treatment solutions. So. Yeah, that has been one of the most striking things about equipment over the last probably, I would say even three to four years, is it does seem like the OEMs have really started to dial in these after treatment systems so that, you know, we in the industry still knee jerk whenever we hear about the after treatment system, but really you aren't seeing the issues that you were in the beginning when these things were, were still pretty new. Well, Casey, thank you so much again for being on the show and taking the time to go over the blade with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you again for Komatsu coming on the show to talk about the GD955. That thing is massive and impressive. As always, I hope this helps you in your business. Catch you on the next episode of The Dirt.